Where are we on immigration reform? Is the administration concerned that we've been, this is a step backward? Well, we absolutely have to get this done. Again, this should be a bipartisan issue. This is about strengthening the country, strengthening the economy, moving people from the shadows of society into the mainstream and helping them become productive citizens. Overwhelming public popular support for this. So we're going to continue to work very, very hard to get this done. And again, this shouldn't be about politics. I'm the least political person you know, you're know, ever going to talk to. Yeah. Um, if we're going to have a strong Republican Party, they need to be part of the solution. And they need this, frankly, for their own survival going forward. They need to be you know, not just anti-everything, but, but pro-something. And so I think this is an area um, where folks can and should come together to strengthen families and ultimately to strengthen our nation. I mean, as an educator, when you see pictures of these children who are in you know, government detention centers in Nogales, Arizona, being shipped from, from Texas. I mean, these are kids who should be in school. Their parents doing everything they can to try to get them into the American school system. What do you think? Well, it's, it's absolutely, you know, it's brutal. I'd say it's inhumane. And I'm hugely focused on making sure that dreamers have a chance to get a college education. And we have far too many young people across the country who came here when they were three months old or six months old. They've played by all the rules. They've gotten great grades. They've been community leaders. They've, they've participated in public service. And you know, some are valedictorians of their high schools. And then we say they can't go to college. Mm. We're cutting off our nose to spite our face. It makes no sense whatsoever. So opening doors of educational opportunity to dreamers has to be part of this mix.